So what did you say? New products coming from Leica? I'm in for it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. And today I'm trying this experiment when I mounted the DJI on the handlebar of my bike because we in the West Coast, we are all three hugging hippies and so we want to use our e-bikes as much as possible and not that much our cars, right? And so also for vlogging, this comes in very handy because I don't have to hold it like if I was using any other camera for vlogging such as the Sony ZV-1 Mark II that they declared comes in for vlogging explicitly or the Canon V10 which is just a weird cam and it is so weird that I might like it so Canon feel free to send me one to test it but apart from that guys when I'm vlogging uh, I'm using the DJI or eventually my smartphone the Motorola because with the rear cam I have also an optical stave and I'm able to record 4K 60p, which is more than enough for me, but I have to suffer this crop factor. And so this is why I'm using the DJI most of the times, despite I don't have the bokeh effect on the DJI. So this lens is set to infinite and it is not able to give us any bokeh effect. And so it's not pleasing to see, but it's very convenient for me to record with it. Since I saw that like I just registered the plan for a new camera, which is eventually the substitute for the Leica software that has been dismissed for a while, and it looks like a Fuji Instax hybrid instant camera, I was just dreaming about Leica releasing new products. And why not a camera for vlogging? Maybe on the cheap side, but with a good lens, and with a good optical stape so we don't have to crop in for the digital stape because if you want to have a wide angle but then you need to crop well then the wide angle comes out of purpose right and so i was just dreaming of them so guys what are we talking about here we're talking about a camera that was already ready it was a very good camera despite maybe not really understood it had this body made of metal it was made out of full metal and it was a great camera and a great body despite it had this hybrid APS-C sensor paired with the L-mount glasses which are very good to me but with the technology that was available at the time it was not enough to compete while with the technology that we have today that would be very good because nowadays Leica has the IBIS nowadays Leica has the face detect and so they just need to put all the elements together in a similar body. So that's why I was thinking about a possible Leica TL3 because we don't really need much for vlogging. Like a very good camera for vlogging would be the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, which is already great. So basically the Leica TL3 might have the same capabilities paired with the Leica L-mount glasses, which is the real top. We don't need that much. We only need a bit of a stave. We need phase detect and AF recognition. So you don't have to worry about it when you are out there vlogging because you will be in the frame for sure. And then those beautiful glasses. So we are thinking about two different form factors because when we are out there vlogging, either you go for the action cam form factor and this is what i'm doing right now with the dji and this is what people will be doing with the insta 360 go 3 which is it's taking on the inheritance of a modular and magnetic mount from the dji action 2 which we all love so much or you go for the real camera form factor maybe not in the cheap version such as the sony zv u1 which they are pushing to be built just for vlogging because when you are out there and if you don't have an optical stave but only the digital stave not only you have to endure the crop factor but you also need a gimbal and so it's not that practical anymore and so optical stave face detect face recognition ibis that would be just great 
in the Leica TL3, which I will purchase. I will be using both for recording in studio and when we're walking out vlogging. Nikon, they tried the action cam sector a few years ago. They were not successful at all, but that was because they were relying on the sync with that snap bridge app that was not the smartest UI ever released, right? While a proper action cam or a proper vlogging cam like the Canon V10, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the V10, but Canon, if you want me to try it, please feel free to send over one. I saw that the form factor is nice and it's so weird that I might like it. Basically, it's a cigarette box shape when you can have your standee flipping from behind and then it has a flippy screen despite the flip screen will be covered when you put the dead cat fur to suck it up the wind blowing into the mic and so you are covering half of the screen but apart from that it's a cam and it's a one inch sensor that is good enough if you want to have a bit of a bokeh effect it is able to record also slow motion maybe not that much but just enough what you need for vlogging and it's lightweight and pocketable now a little digression here on why this thing needs to be small lightweight and pocketable i traveled the world and i used most of the times the ram mount whether i was in need of fixing my cam on a motorbike or if i had to adapt it to a rental car or even also vlogging or filming on the way just spot needs and so i started using this run mount and i found out that you don't need that much to answer all your needs so it's just this x mount that will eventually adapt to all your phones and i was using it first things first on my motorbike when i needed a navigation system because like the proper navigation were very expensive and at the time i was using a Nokia phone and so with the here maps I could uh, download and now it's called here go you could download a whole country map on your phone and then add the navigation in remote without need of connections and after that I just kept using it and like at the moment I'm using the adapter from my DJI that fits perfectly because normally it's the universal GoPro mount and after that you can use the X mount for your phone and then the suction cup for windows if you have to just stand in front of it or use it on the car window so on and so forth so this needs to be lightweight and pocketable because you don't want to carry around many things you don't want to carry around a lot of weight when you're traveling and especially if this is your second cam you don't want to think about it you just want to set it down there and forget about it and just have it recording so give or take a few options that i might like or not but guys i'm not so picky about it i'm using a dji which is clearly an action cam for vlogging just because it's lightweight and very pocketable and it is also convenient so i might have some compromise on the image quality or on the slow motion but i'm not recording much of a slow motion i just want it to be ready to sync with the mic because to me the audio is key for recording and then most important i want my leica to be ready for snapping pictures because if i'm having a street photography section i cannot use my leica for vlogging i might eventually use it when i'm home i put it on a tripod i use it with the mic and then it is oh so beautiful the effort you might call it cinematic honestly it's not my top priority because i'm much more focusing on the photography but if i have to record videos i might like to have a like a version of an action cam or of a vlog cam because guys those color science and everything that leica makes with those lenses it's also beautiful and it makes the difference so I was fantasizing for them to develop eventually a brand new product. So like if you're watching this and if you want me to help developing uh, the R&D for this new product, feel free to reach out. I will be more than happy to give you my two cents. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it 
share it on social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye bye.